so welcome to part 2 of the tutorial and in case if you missed the part 1 or you don't know what the heck is going on what is she doing here you can find the link in the description for the part 1 you can watch that video there or you can also go to my channel and find that video there with also many other amazing photoshop tutorials so let's start with the smoke because the basic stuff is totally done we color corrected her the background is okay so first thing is, is adding smoke so as you can see here we have really good realistic smoke going on and people usually ask me that hey how to create realistic smoke inside photoshop well the answer is you don't create one photoshop we don't create like smoke stuff in photoshop and even if you try to do it looks really shitty i mean i have seen many tutorials and it doesn't look good the answer is you either use brush or you use like what yes image that's the word you use images so as you can see here i have smoke image so if i disable the mask and change the blend mode to normal you can see here a smoke with black background a bit of black background going on so you put your smoke image in photoshop and then you change the blend mode to screen and when you have really hard edges like this you mask it out see it's really easy thing to do apply a layer mask grab a brush and paint in black color where you don't want smoke it's that easy don't make it complicated and then to uh, as you can see here the smoke looks good but we can make it look better so for that duplicate the layer of smoke and put it on top of everything and as you can see here it's not some wonderland thing going on so I'm gonna make it like small something like this and then I'm gonna remove okay not select the mask first always remember that thing okay lesson learned and then I'm gonna remove it from here and I don't I want that smoke only on her dress a little bit of smoke and then I can reduce the opacity a little bit so that she can blend better in the background okay I really should have scripted it out because I did not expect it that tutorial will go this long so as you can see here this far we are going pretty good and we color we did everything and now everyone's favorite I think we did everything we even enlarged her dress and okay this one step we forgot to do so as you can see here you may find that this portion you can see here uh, this has some really weird black like patches here everything else is super bright and good but this one looks really dark so create a new layer go to levels and increase the mid tones a bit and then highlights a little bit select a brush press ctrl i so it will hide everything and then i'm gonna paint with white color so we can remove those black patches from there and she can look even awesome see uh, that looks good pretty good so now let's create the lens flares so to create the lens flare <laughs> I uh, if you have seen my previous videos you know I really love lens flares and I have shown really different ways to create this flare so this time another way so go to f make sure create a new layer fill the black color go to filter and render and then select lens flare even four year old can do that you know so selecting the lens I used I'm pretty sure 105 mm and then put it somewhere here and if you want bigger flare just increase the brightness obvious thing and then change the blend mode to screen and there you have your lens flare ha huh. a flare coming out of her mouth Bruh not pretty good so put the flare where it's supposed to be and then uh, you want an orange flare so what you can do is image adjustment and go to hue saturation now if you directly change the hue it's not gonna look that great but the trick is click on this option called colorize and then increase the saturation so it will make it dark 
and I have never seen in red sun but the orange one so I'm gonna make it orange see it looks pretty good and then you can also decrease the brightness but you can't increase it because of that black layer this crazy stuff you can go see here but don't worry about that concentrate on the flare and you can decrease the lightness a little bit and hit ok so as you can see here looks pretty good but we have this small round dots so I'm gonna mask it out so apply a layer mask and I'm gonna paint black color there so we can hide that and then the overall thing so create a blank layer and as you can see here we have this overall brightness going on here really good so this is also really easy thing to do let's copy the color and select just a dark desaturated orange color see and then uh, select a brush and make it screen layer before painting so you get the idea what kind of things you are painting okay and then start painting it here and ha it's ready everyone's favorite lens flare so it's going on here and I also posted this image in Photoshop and Lightroom group and they're really good some really good people helped me that I should use flare and that looks better and I also found it pretty good so thank you those guys for helping me out really nice people in the world so as you can see here I totally nailed it and this doesn't look even half good as this one so don't worry about it all you have to do is just paint carefully okay don't rush it out like me take your time take your sweet time and paint carefully so I'm gonna take an eraser and remove it from here uh, something like this so we don't overdo it so this is the one thing with the lens flares never overdo it you will always want to make it like bright awesome Michael Bay style lens flares don't do that they don't look that great so I'm gonna stop talking now and apply final steps so you can guys be free with my how long is it let me check first okay it's already half hour plus so I'm gonna end the tutorial now and finish it so now it's time for the final step so you guys can be free from my lecture a half an hour long tutorial so this is the final step to add some warmth in the overall image so it can get a good overall feeling so this is one really good trick that I found usually people do this thing with curves but it can also happen with levels and I'm gonna show you how so if you go to levels people usually change these sliders but this time instead of those use this one and add slight bit of this slider so it will kill the contrast in the image and add a red color same way not too much so let's I didn't do anything in green I promise okay I did magenta <laughs> so add a slight bit of magenta if you want this is like really crazy stuff take your time and then apply it so you don't ruin your image because one bad layer and it can kill your overall composition so don't rush it take your sweet time and then do it so I'm gonna add a little bit of here so as you can see here this one doesn't look as good as this one but looks okay so I'm gonna also remove it from her face a little bit so you can like remove it here and I know I missed a part where I did not explain how to mask this layer how to this how to deal with this kind of transparent brushes but it's really easy whenever okay let's let me open this thing and let me turn on the background so when you have this kind of situation as you can see here so it's really easy uh, to create this kind of transparent thing take your brush make sure opacity is like really low maybe 40% don't in decrease the flow I don't like to do that because that creates the patches and then start painting so you can have half transparent things so if I click here or maybe somewhere here as you can see here it doesn't remove it totally it creates a kind of transparency so we, you can it can look like it's going through we can make things see through 
so that's pretty good thing if i increase the opacity 100 percent and then i click here as you can see here it totally removes it but the 50 percent or lesser opacity will make it look transparent so the tutorial is finally done and thank you very much guys if you watch till here very few people will do it i know but if you watch till here thank you very much and you can if you have any time left you can go to my channel and check out also other pretty good tutorials and you know there's a subscribe button on youtube so you can subscribe to my channel so you can find another awesome tutorials when i upload them and you can also share your comments with about flares your experiences with your images sometime when you screwed up or anything i would really love to discuss about them so again thanks for watching guys goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop